Hi, I'm Jay Irwin, director of BG Proving Ground. We perform hands-on research, development, and testing. I've been involved with BG Products research and development for tools and equipment for over 30 years. Our team has completed a GDI engine case study. The study evaluated the engine performance before and after the BG Platinum Fuel System Service and the BG Engine Performance Service. Here are Paul Garcia and Josh Sullivan to review the study results. Hi, I'm Paul Garcia, Proving Ground Shop Manager. I'm an ASE Certified Master Technician and Certified Advanced Diagnostic Technician with more than 15 years in the automotive industry. We have more on the testing we did, but first, let's talk a little bit more about the BG Proving Ground. We work closely with both the Research and Development Lab as well as the Engineering Department to ensure BG products, tools, and equipment perform the way they are supposed to and ultimately help you guys in the field. BG Proving Ground is a top-tier, state-of-the-art research facility that has nine full-service bays for research development, an engineering center, a Superflow motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side -side dyno, a Superflow all-wheel drive chassis dyno, and a Superflow Black Widow engine dyno. Just name a few pieces of our cool testing equipment. Now let's get to that case study. I'm Josh Sullivan, the Proving Ground team lead. I'm an ASE certified master technician with nine years of industry experience and I've been with BG for five years. We started with two 2020 1.5 liter GM GDI turbocharged engines, put them each on our engine dyno and did three dyno pulls per engine to get baseline data. Testing one engine at a time, we measured compression, emissions, horsepower, torque, and crankcase pressure with a picoscope using a pressure transducer. We also measured the fuel consumption with the AVL Plutron. The Plutron determines the exact fuel consumption of the engine. It uses the positive displacement principle to keep it simple. We then tore the engine down to bench test the injectors, check valve weights, collect other data, and photograph different engine components. Our lab team also took pictures of the injectors using their high-powered microscope. We reassembled the engine and it was warmed up to operating temperature. Many of our products are heat activated to promote the most efficient cleaning possible. We then performed the BG Platinum fuel system service, which includes the application of air intake valve and combustion chamber cleaner with the Platinum service supply tool. The engine is revved three times every 45 seconds to disperse chemistry across all the cylinders. We even developed a tool called the BG Revit to handle this job. We then did the BG engine performance service, EPR was added to the crankcase, and Platinum 44K was also added to the fuel tank. The engine was then ran for 20 minutes. The old oil and EPR were drained, and new oil was added with advanced formula MOA. With our engine reattached to the dyno and the two BG services completed, we ran another three dyno pulls to collect data and performed another engine teardown to get more post-service results. Normally an engine teardown will take us a day, but engine teardown does vary depending on the engine. The more complicated the engine, the more time it takes. Measuring the components and getting the pictures usually takes one to two days. The most difficult process is the initial setup of the engine on the dyno and getting it to run correctly. Now let's take a look at the results. Let's talk about cylinder compression and cylinder contribution. So we started off with a 5.6% difference between the strongest cylinder and the weakest cylinder. We're able to increase that by 4% using BG products during this testing. And we got it down to a 1.6% difference between all the cylinders in both motors. And now what that means is we put the engine into balance. So having a balanced engine means that all the cylinders are firing at the same rate, nothing's using more fuel or less fuel, and the engine can operate back to factory specs so nothing's fighting each other. Now on the valve weight. We started off using an ASTM procedure that measured the intake and the exhaust valves before and after the service. The service that we used was the BG Platinum Fuel System Service. And by doing that service, we had a reduction of valve weight on average of 0.028 grams on all the valves. And what that means is you're not gonna have carbon get to a point where it's gonna cause misfires and you're going to have to do a cylinder head replacement. And the benefit is you're gonna have better cylinder combustion, which means better fuel efficiency and fuel economy. Now onto injector flow testing. So we use the injector flow bench, as you can see there behind me. And what that test actually goes from idle to wide open throttle. And what that means, it's gonna do the same thing it's doing in the car, it's gonna test that way. And we were doing our baseline testing on the injectors. We found they had varying rates of injector flow. 
By doing the service, we actually increased the flow by 2.67% on average across the injectors. And by doing that, we're actually to bring all the injectors down to within 1% of each other. So that means all of them are firing at the same rate, which that contributes to cylinder balance, cylinder efficiency, and fuel economy. Let's talk about fuel consumption. As Josh mentioned earlier, we use a tool called the AVL Plutron to measure fuel consumption before and after the service. So how did it do? On average, both motors had a decrease of 3% of fuel consumption throughout the entire tank of fuel. Now, how do we do the testing? We run a full tank of fuel and usually it takes about eight to 10 hours on the baseline, but actually it took almost 11 hours when we actually did the after testing. Let's take a look at our emissions testing. So overall emissions were decreased in all areas, but we're gonna focus on two gases today, carbon dioxide or CO2 or oxides of nitrogen, also known as NOx. So how did NOx do? NOx decreased by 100%. So we took it from two parts million down to zero, which that's awesome. So now we're gonna look at CO2. CO2 decreased by 2.27%. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means less CO2 in the atmosphere, less pollution, but also the great benefit is that the EPA has a chart that directly rates that to fuel consumption. So if you're putting out less CO2, as you can see before and, that fuel consumption decreased, we can compare the two and both went down. On what everybody really cares about, horsepower and torque. So do we high five each other or do we cry ourselves to sleep in the back with a box of tissues? Happily to say, we did not need the box of tissues. So what did horsepower do? It increased by 1.6% on both the engines and torque increased by 9.5% on both engines, which was great because it got us to close or at factory OEM specs. That wraps up the case study results. Now Jay will close this out. These results may not mean much to the average vehicle owner. However, they benefit from starting preventive fuel and oil maintenance program. Since newer engines use low tension piston rings and tighter tolerances, the results provided by these two BG services directly affect engine efficiency and can prevent costly repairs, which are important factors for today's drivers. These maintenance plans will enhance customer satisfaction the performance that's restored to their vehicle will strengthen customer retention and brand loyalty. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to this YouTube channel. For more information about BG, visit our website at bgprod.com.